So I just wanted to talk to you guys quickly about this alien video you're about to watch. Uh, we filmed this about a month ago at Yagpin up in Edmonton. It was the Pinball and Arcade Expo. Nitro Pinball was able to bring uh, two alien pinball machines. So we were able to play both of them a little bit. And uh, the particular one that we were on did have an issue with the code. Uh, the code was causing a scoring issue. Uh, player two could never ever get like their score to blow up like player one. Um, so that is a known issue. Highway Pinball is working on that issue right now. I believe they do have it fixed. Uh, there are some people out there with versions of code that don't have that issue. Um, the other thing with this table was that the Xenomorph feature at the back of the game, it's like the alien with the little tongue that whips out, grabs onto the ball. That whole mechanic was missing. Uh, it was just on that particular machine. Uh, my understanding is they're shipping out a new uh, mech that includes that Xenomorph feature. Uh, the original one had some issues, like the tongue was coming out too often or it was sucking up balls too often. So I think that has been rejigged and a new version is coming out. So anyway, go ahead and watch this video and just know about those few little issues and uh, you know, let us know if you have any questions or anything about the game. We will be doing a follow-up video on this one. Uh, we're gonna head over to our buddy Dan's house and he's gonna give us access to the machine and we'll try to like learn a little bit more about the modes, get a little bit deeper. I think that he's had some time to kind of explore the game a little bit. So he'll guide us as we go through the game. So anyway, go ahead and enjoy. All right guys, so we're here in Edmonton at YEG Pin, and uh, we've actually got uh, two alien machines from Highway Pinball. I uh, want to thank uh, our buddies over at uh, NitroPinball.com uh, and our buddy Dan uh, from some of our previous videos uh, for letting us take a quick look around his new machine. Uh, so one of the first things that we want to do really quickly is uh, just kind of look at the play field and uh, do a little basic tour. Now this is brand new, straight out of the box. So let's take a look at some of the things uh, from the theme that we want to we want to point out. So first are the uh, alien egg pop bumpers, okay? Uh, so secondly, uh, we would have a, a xenomorph creature right here, but I guess it's just not on this shipped copy of the game. Not exactly sure why. It, it will be coming. Yeah. It's something yeah. that I guess it came out of the factory. Those pieces weren't ready yet. The agreement was that they would be shipping those off to the retailer uh, at a later date. So we, we managed to get this game like really, really early, early on. So yeah. that piece is still waiting. But, uh, I mean, otherwise, like, the game is playing, like, you know, pretty much like 95%, so yeah. we'll be able to see a lot of cool stuff today. One of the other things from the flyer that you're, notice, that you're going to notice is different is there's a little screen right here instead of a rotating airlock and a little clean feature. Um, so that's really cool, too. Um, we've also got uh, a kind of a, a walkway for one of the ramps down here on the left. Everything's really well themed out to the first two Alien movies. Um, as you can see down here, there's also the... Uh, uh, the in-play field display screen, and we've got some face huggers on the slings on the sides. So really cool, really straightforward, heavily themed. Uh, Going to be an exciting machine. Yeah. Cool. We're well, going to set up here and we'll uh, have a few games. All right, guys. So one of the things we want to apologize for quickly is we, we we understand that a lot of you that are watching these videos really want to watch it for the sounds and and whatnot. Um, we are early morning at the event here, so we're gonna try our best to get you the best that we can, and we promise 100% no dark do uh, barking dogs in this episode. <laughs> All right. So you may have figured out we're not home yet. Adding crew member two. All right, Josh, you wanna go? All right, let's let her rip. Ignition. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> we we played this game quite a bit last night, but it was so loud and so noisy that we really didn't didn't really know what was going on. No, that's the one thing about these like, pinball expos. They're a great place to come and like play a new game, but you really can't hear what's going on. No, if you're coming to see like a new game and, and get the feel for the shots and and how it looks, great, but you'll never hear it. Oh, we got a stuck ball. This is one of the things I noticed last night is every once in a while. There. No, I think we're good. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. So you may have every out once in a while, yet. it seems. I, I was told that it was because the floor is sloped a little bit and they don't have it exactly. Yeah. I mean, this is early days, folks. Like, 
really early days. And it's little things, it's not like the play fields, you know, ghosting inserts or anything. Primary ignition. Shot fire. Like Wayland Utani to I really like that little that little display screen. So one of the things I gotta say that I really enjoy about maybe not this game, but any any game that has a has the, the, the DMD right in the play field, yeah. I get more out of it. LCD, yeah. Or the LCD right in the play field, I get more out of it than a traditional DMD, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I suppose. I, I mean I don't really pay attention to that stuff anyway. So unless I'm pausing and I'm like, okay, well what is my score? Yeah, yeah. You know. But I mean I, I use a lot of audio cues to find out what's going on. Full thrust. You know what's really fantastic about this game is that because it's a modular system, oh, are we going? <laughs> because it's a modular system, like just some of the design things that they had to work with, like how the side panels or the side art is basically backlit, right? So we're doing the Jonesy mode. Oh, okay. Sweet. I was saying I really like this little gate on the right outline. It's given me a chance to save my ball a couple of times when I just gauge. figured it was all, you know, said and done. Yeah, it does have fun together. Engine ignition. BP-70 handgun. We don't have our iPad. Like Wayland Utani to qualify missions. Okay. That was bad. <laughs> All right, ball three. Fifty-three million. It, one thing that confused me at first when I played this was how short the plunge is because it fires up, it's it's terror, and then it comes back straight down. Back down. Right down. Yeah, yeah. Primary ignition. It took a thirty-seven there, shot. There are not many games off the top of my head that I can think of that doesn't have a full Like Wayland Utani right? to qualify like missions. I mean, like, uh... like the Hobbit comes out halfway, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, that was really quick. 101 million. You gotta get some motion. I'm not even, like, yeah, I'm yeah. not even out of a just million. Just like focus and we'll play and we'll try to get some cool shit happening for you guys. Yeah. Engage. It took a 37 shotgun. Yeah, there we go. Saved by that O-lane. Nope. Alright. It's early in the morning, yes. We were up at... 2.30, 3.30, yeah. and then back up at 6.30, so. At least Josh is playing. Not up. bad for a human. You. He's talking about you. <laughs> Start a new game. All right, game two. Ripley, we have to talk. So one of the cool things about this at the very beginning, you can choose between aliens on the right or alien so on the left. Home, yeah. Okay, so 1979 on the one side, 1986 on the other. I've lost contact with the colony on LV-426. All right, let's do this. Alien. Full thrust. Let's see if we can do that right orbit. 
the lighting on this game is just phenomenal. Start mission at center airlock. Here we go. Start mission. Alright. Shoot orbit. Alright, I can do an orbit shot. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Fancy way to trap your ball. Oh. Oh, wow. Morning, mother. Mystery. Timer extended. Sweet. I like that shot. Finish the mode, you fail. Ripley, we have to talk. Yes, it's about your cat. Take it away. BP 70 handgun. I really like those face huggers on the uh, on the slings. Yeah. Proceed to airlock. Bug. Oh man. I'll get some coffee and maybe we'll play another round. <laughs> Replay. Replay is set really low on this. Oh crap. There's a, there is a center post. You know, I should have just let it hit it. Yeah, and bounce off. Bounce back up. Sometimes, like, flipping at a. A shot like that is actually worse. You should just let it hit that. Just, center. just you know, trust it. Going down. I mean, what are the odds, right? You're gonna lose it if you don't, anyway, right? You always like kind of feel like you can catch the tip of it. Maybe just yeah. previous videos where like we do Ghostbusters as an example as a huge Ghostbusters fan it's Stern Stern probably did about let's say about 90 95 percent Ghostbusters 1 and then 5 percent Ghostbusters 2 as far as the theme goes it's almost like it was like a last minute decision but here it's it's a nice even 50 50 split of, of Ghostbusters or not Ghostbusters of Alien and Aliens we're on express elevator to hell! Going down! Oh, uh, I missed Bill Paxson. Let's drop the ball. 
<laughs> see that? And then it drains. Let's see if I can get it in the revive. No. Wow. Sleeper revived. <laughs> No. God. Oh, that's a rough what game. What happened, Chad? I don't know. One point five sweat. million, and I got seventy million. What happened, dude? I'm, I'm taking a beating. Okay, third time's a charm. Let's go. As soon as you may have figured out what happened. All right, guys, so we're gonna play a third game here. All right. Let's let's see what we can do. We have to talk. I just love how well lit the play field is. Move it out! Skill shot. Okay. So is that is that that's the skill shot then? It's I hit those little those center banks where the xenomorph head yeah, is gonna yeah. the alien head is gonna be. Yeah. Like Waylon Yutani to qualify missions. I think I think we can choose independently. Okay. So if you're not a fan of James Cameron, there we go. APC, all right. It looks like left orbit. What are, you, what are you on? First time on second aliens. One. Okay. Ripley, so, we have to talk. So I'll go, I'll go aliens. Sure, yeah, let's see if our scores are comparable. Going down! Huh. Skill shot awarded. Trust the dead plan. That's a pretty solid shot from the top right flipper into the, into the airlock. There's actually some nice close to this one. I took some nice shots too on the left. Oh, that's a good one. The blue ones, yeah. Mike Wayland Yutani to qualify missions. I failed. <laughs> we were playing a really good mode last night, where it, Hypersleep lock qualified. The uh, the display shows like a little radar lock. I like the subtle use right. of the magnet. All one lock. Thank <laughs> you. 
initiates mission. I think, I think just saying the term ball control is my jinx. <laughs> So it says press launch button for bonus times advance. So you're using the handgun now. So face hugger, egg face hugger. Looks like Xenomorph and Queen. Like Wayland Yutani to qualify missions. Revived. Now look, my score like blew up. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure why. Sleep block qualified. All right, so just, just a little bit of clarification here. So down here on the play field, we've got Wayland and Yutani. Okay. And we got to light one of the two of those, and then we can shoot for the air law, right? And that's what starts our mode. Switch to DCS ranging. Okay. Ready to get it on. BP-70 handgun. Queen's Nest. I love the animation. This is so cool. All right, so what do I got to do here? Uh, flashing targets. Take out all those green flashing targets. Pop bumpers to burn eggs. <clears throat> so I got to get up in the pop bumpers. It's deceiving like that top flipper. Like Wayland Utani yeah. to qualify yeah. missions. Just couldn't get in there. I mean, as sure as you, as you get better at some of the shots on this game and you get more used to it, it's not going to be. Oh, they got the power! So I got a second ball loaded here. Yeah, okay. you too! Oh, 
seems like you've had a really good ball. Sleeper, yeah. revive. But my score is not. I'm not really sure like, what happened there on my ball, but that blew it off. I must have gotten some oh. sort of jackpot. We're stuck in there. There you go. Yeah, because I had the handgun as well. Revive them. Oh, there we go. Sleeper, That's revive. Twice I was able to use that. Nope. Oh, man. I'm just not having any luck today. Take it away. It's a good thing I got on my tournament plays yesterday. <laughs> so you got press launch button for shotgun. Oh, he's not gonna give it to me. How'd you get that shotgun? Going down! Ithaca 37 shotgun. Vent 1 initiates UA 571C sentry gun. Nice. Mike Wayland Utani to qualify missions. Yes, yeah. Tony's lit. Down here. Sentry guns turned on. Two left ramps. Oh. Ripley, we have to talk. 
Some of you may have figured out we're not home yet. Full thrust. Mike Wayland Utani to qualify missions. Acid, acid burn is your uh, is your mission here. Start mission at center airlock. So you can see just down in the lower playfield, you've got all the alien missions on the left, all the multi-ball missions in the middle, and all the aliens missions on the right. Avoid the acid. So I think you gotta you gotta avoid certain shots in this. What do you mean you need to do that shot? Yeah. Right, right. So you get one shot, you need to clear. Yeah. But everything else is green. Oh no. Oh man. You failed. That's a really cool mode. Should be in there. I like that mode, like only lighting what you really need to hit. It plays really well with the colors in the theme. Ignition. Mike Wayland Utani to qualify missions. Come on, get in there. Not there. Oh, okay. That kind of bounce back to the side. It saves you. To, like, yeah. Bounce back in that way. Trying to light. No. Trying to qualify those missions can be tough. Alrighty. Primary ignition. Ignition. Mike Wayland Utani to qualify missions. I think that's just the software, yeah. yeah. It, could be, uh, it, could be, it could be mechanical, but it just like stops and there's that little gap there. A lot of times the teams need a little adjustment or whatever when they get out of the box. Yeah, I mean this, this just... here at the, at the venue looks like... Continue mission. playing it all day, all day long, yeah. Games, so it could be uh, some adjustments to make it. But it's old enough really well. Yeah, and again, this is brand new, out of the box, like... I don't... These haven't even shipped yet, have they? Uh, they're shipping Engage. now. Engage. Mike Wayland Utani to qualify missions. I feel like she's giving me crap every time I hear her say that. Oh, for the love of God. Scream again. Oh no. Oh no, what the hell? That's it. Not bad for a human. He's probably just. Alright guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep following us along here at the Canadian Arcade, make sure you hit that subscribe button. 
And if you have any questions or you want to see more, leave a message down in the below in the comment section. And as always, we'll see you next time.